Bianca, are you not supposed to be in the morning devotion? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> is it by force? It is compulsory in this office for all of us to go to the morning devotion before anything is done. Eh. Sorry, sir, MD, head done. It is Kakasi with your coconut head. Uncle, I am very busy with work. Just do our battle and get on this place. That work can wait till after the devotion. Okay, you employed me here, B. No, no, I was asking now. No problem. I'm going to report you to the MD as soon as he comes to office. Go, go, get, get on this place. See your possibility. You can't wear your shirts. You're, you're, you're looking hard, haggard, and stupid with your bushy hair. You're looking sick. Get out of this place. What's this up? No problem. I'm going to report you to the MD as soon as he comes in. Come, 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 come. Come now. Ah, what? Go, go. Wait. Come, my brother. Come. Don't report me, please, now. Don't, 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 don't report me. I'm begging you. What do you want? Is it, is it Uber? Taxify. Which one do you want? I can oh. see you're not ready. No, oh, you want, you, no, you want play? Idiot. Are you gay? Fool. Devotion kill you, dear. Leave devotion. He she. You're speaking in tongues. All right, just turn, turn behind me. Let me take you. Let me take you. I want to, I want to speak in tongues right now. <laughs> Get out of there. Just give me. Oh, shit. I want to speak in tongues now. I, I'll give it. <laughs> right, yeah. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you for this great company that you gave. Thank you for giving us employment. Thank you for giving us a roof over our heads. Thank you for each and every one of us in this company. Thank you for the MD. Thank you for his family. Thank you for Rich Moore in general. But I will say, be thou exalted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, you are in heaven. You said if we commit our ways into your evil hands, we shall be the Lord of the land. Therefore, Lord Jesus, today we are committing our work here today into your evil hands. We are asking for speed. Give us knowledge. Give us understanding. Amen. Give us the grace to do better than this. Amen. 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 Amen.
I will continue to remove the turbulence in your lives. Hi, Mr. Turbulence Remover. You are just a deceiver. Good morning. Uh, please, here's a proposal. Uh, I think you should so please, make sure you type it within 20 minutes before the MD gets here. Also, make sure there are no typographical errors. We read it before you get it across to him. I am talking to you, BM. I'm not deaf. I heard you the first time. Whatever. <laughs> make sure it's done within 20 minutes. Just to make this fool. What do I mean around? Let the guy right go. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fast. How's your family? Everybody is fast. Good. You're welcome. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, Edmund. Please come to my office. Oscar? Chief. How are you? I'm good, sir. Yeah. Okay, uh, place a call to Mr. Anayo of a ball plastic. Right. At Um Let him know how much you are offering. Okay. Um, does he have a factory in Onicha? I thought it was Lagos. Oscar? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I'll do that. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, Chief, you sent for me. Oh yes, I did. How are you? Well, as you can see, Chief, I'm fine. How was your night? Thank God. My night was really good, Chief. Good. Please sit. Thank you, Chief. Now tell me, how many people did not uh, attend this morning's devotion? I don't understand, Chief. Why don't you understand? I mean, it's a simple question. How many people absented themselves from this morning's devotion? Is that not a simple question? I mean, it's a kindergarten stuff. But, but, but Chief, I, I was thinking that question should be directed to Sharon, not me. I mean, Sharon is the one who conducts the morning devotion. Yeah, Sharon, please come to my office immediately. Yeah. Miss Sharon, yeah. I guess that was the envy. Yes, and it's super urgent. Do you know why he's calling you? I wouldn't know except I get to his office. I'll be right back. Okay. Something is telling me it's because of the absence of Mrs. Bianca and Edmund during the morning devotion. What are you even talking about? Everyone in this office knows that Mr. Edmund has never partaken in early morning devotion. Maybe if you see him, you ask him. Chief. <clears throat> 
You sent for me. Yes, I did. I asked you to note the names of those who absent themselves from money devotion. Did you do that? I did, Chief. So who are those that absented themselves? The supervisor and the company secretary. Edmond? Chief. Are you by any means saying that as at 8 o'clock this morning you were not at work? Chief, I was at work before 8 o'clock. I just feel money devotion is personal and it's not something that should be tied to people compose really. People should do their prayers the way they want to do it and not, not make it look as if it's forced to attend one in the office. Says who? Edmond. So. Money devotion is compulsory in this company. Okay? And the earlier you abide by that rule, the better for you. Bianca, see me in my office. Chief, you called me. Why did you absent yourself from morning devotion today? I... Chief, I was busy with work. You're busy with work? Yes, Chief. Now, both of you get it into your heads that morning devotion is compulsory in this company. And anyone who absents him or herself from the morning devotion as instituted by Sharon in this company will have me to contend with. Is that understood? Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Good. Now get out. Leave my office. Sharon? Yes, Chief. I want to thank you for introducing this, I mean, money devotion into this company, okay? Um, I cannot overstate the effect of this exercise in my life. Okay? Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Chief. Um, let me get back to the office. That's fine. Have a good day, Chief. You too. You guys do not know what is going on. Hey! What is going on? Radio without battery. Timothy, why are you attacking me? Eh? How is whatever that is going on at the endless office supposed to be my problem? How? We should be asking you that. Look at the way you just barge into the office like a criminal. Peggy, change. Leave gossip, make gossip leave you. Um, what is that your name again? Nini or whatever you call yourself. Are you in any way trying to call me a gossip? Are you? Madam, you are distracting us. You can see we are busy working. If you don't have any work to do, just get out. Here? Look who is talking more. What? Hey, Miss Sharon. It's like you don't have anything to share with us. Busy body. Oh. Ah. Since you don't have anything to share with us, let me just, let me just mind my business. No, don't mind your business. Keep on talking, cho 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 cho. Look Can at we this just one. Stop all of this and concentrate on our work, please. Sorry for you, Peggy. Sorry for yourself. Look at this one. Olodo. What kind of a human being is this? See, Miss Sharon just said, mind your business. Yeah. You are shouting. This is an office. Yeah, Gosh. Yeah, yeah, okay. You talk. Can you just let Sharon be? Leave Sharon out of this. No. I won't. 
That stupid girl who beats me on my head without mind the hairs on my head. I will bite her on her bum bum without mind the faces coming up on that place. I think you're wrong. Listen, Sharon was not the one that reported us to the chief. As a matter of fact, the chief was the one who called for Sharon's attention, demanding he tells, uh, she should tell him who and who was absent during the devotion. And that's how Sharon went ahead and named you and I. So please, this has something to do with Sharon. Why are you having BP? I don't understand. You, you, of course you can understand. Why are you agitated? <laughs> oh really? I see now that you're on the side of that stupid girl, right? Oh, please don't insist. Are you sleeping with her? Oh, you're asking if I'm Yes, I'm asking you. you. Okay, as a matter of fact, if you're asking that question, this is the right thing I should be telling you. Well, let me tell you this. Um, Sharon is one girl I've been thinking of having, like, the thought of that girl drives me crazy. I can't wait to hold that girl in my hands to take away the turbulence in her life. I want to have Sharon in my hands. I want to grab her to myself. Sometimes I feel like, oh my goodness. You know, one thing about that girl, <coughs> she's not a cheap harlot. I've done everything possible to see how I can get into her, but she's seen my body. And I wouldn't stop until I get her to my bed. I'm serious about it. Oh, really? She's not like the older girls. She's not. And how long? Absolutely, I love you. Yes. I'm crazy about this. And I, I can see. So, right before me, Edmund, you're calling me a loose woman and an alert. No, 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 no. Please, that's not what I'm saying. Listen, hey, yeah, yeah, listen. Look at you. I mean, you're sexy, you're beautiful, you're everything a woman should be. Just by having kids. Oh, you're beautiful. Who takes that away from you? That is what you have to say. That's what all you want from me, right? The sexy. In it. But let me say something to you. I'm going to meet that stupid girl right now and give her the peace of my mind. You're mistaken. Hey, hey. I am not part of this. I am not part of what you're going to do right now. said I reported her to the MD. She barged in here expecting me to exchange words with her. And when I didn't give her that pleasure, it got her really mad. What's happening here? I, <clears throat> I was hearing voices from this office. What's happening? What's um, going on? Um, Mr. Edmund, uh, I took care of it. You did? Yes. Oh, I see. It's okay. All the is fine. You're always making mistakes. What's this? Look here, what is this? Get back to me later, all right? Correct it immediately. I don't want this sort of mistake again in this office. Promising promotions Just to get a piece of the action Try punishing And stop doing the honest ones 
pay The ones who refuse you Child The ones who say no to you huh? But little did you know What kind of girl is this? Hmm? A homie Edmund Edmund that has all the women in this company at the beck and call of Edmund, every woman pays attention. But how come this particular one is feeling hard to get? I mean, what's her problem? Kaibo, this girl, fine, sure. Ah, that girl is beautiful. But what is her problem? Is there something that I am doing that she doesn't like? I am a handsome young man, well packaged. Every lady's number one spec. So what is the problem for crying out loud? What's the problem? What's the problem? I think the bone of contention should what will I be doing to get this girl? <sighs> it's all settled. Every woman wants to be promoted. And by the time she finds out about Mrs. Bianca's promotion, She will run into my arms, not knowing that I've been waiting for her. And I will squeeze her like a lemon juice made from the Caribbean. <sighs> Sharon, Ngala Chagi Kube. You know, I've really missed this. I don't understand. What have you missed? <sighs> we made love here in your office some days ago, if not yesterday. So why are you sounding as if you're a sex star? Yeah, but I've told I you. know you have a handful of us who service you here. Listen to me, but I've told you you're the sweetest amongst them all. <laughs> I mean, you're just the best of the girls. The same thing you said to me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? What do you mean the same thing I said to me? Yes. She told me. As a matter of fact, each time she comes here to see you, she tells me. And she tells me also the kind of styles you two do. Mm -hmm. This is not happening. <laughs> That's happening. What? Okay, fine. You yourself. Do you also tell me the sort of style we take? I mean, the style we use in taking away dominance. Of course, yes. Hey. Do you have a problem with that? My enemy has invaded my privacy. Oh my goodness, I'm finished. I'm finished. What's with the drama? Oh my God. What's the big deal? Why? Why? Why would you have to do that? Why? You have a way with one. We are also aware that you are also removing turbulence from the gigantic waste of Mrs. Bianca. <laughs> He's surprised. <laughs> the ones who refuse you, child. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, now I see what's happening here. It's a time to revalidate our status in the office, yeah? Well, it's a good thing that you know I've been taking away turbulence from Mrs. Bianca. And you think I don't know that Mr. Jeffrey, the manager, has been doing a good job by taking away turbulence from you? Ah, you're shot. <laughs> so enjoy your promotion, cut you of me. 
But I paid with my body. Ah, is that what you have to say? Okay, you think your body can do everything for you, isn't it? Is that right? Share your another promotion is coming up, so I'll know how you get that. Are you serious now? Mm, it's the top legs, remember. You know I can do anything. Mm. Are you sure about it? You already know. Anyway, the more you allow turbulence to be removed from you, the more promotion you get. And you know one good thing about these promotions? Mm -hmm. The more you're promoted, the more increment of salary you get. Yes. <laughs> so, you're happy? Of course I am, who wouldn't be? Okay, if you were, then please help me and get rid of some turbulence. At your service. Ah. What? Jesus Christ, what is going on there? Mr. Edmund making out with a female staff. Was not that the voice of Peggy, the company's accountant? Ha! Now what for Mr. Edmund? Oh. Hey! You're welcome, Jeffrey. Thank you. So, how was your vacation? Why well, splendid? I can see it. Hmm? Look at the way you're shining. <laughs> it's all good. Yes, I'm happy that you're back to work. We really missed you. Uh, of course, I miss everyone too. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Anyway, so you will uh, acquaint yourself with uh, what is going on, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh. Come on. I know you missed this. <laughs> Did you miss it? I missed everything about you. I know you missed me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know how these things work. You mean? She deserved the promotion. Uh, come to think of that, you know that if you work for something, you should get rewarded. So, her promotion is well deserving. Hey, 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 don't even say that. Have you forgotten I'm Mr. Edmund? I determine who gets promoted or not, not the other way around. So, talk to me some respect. No, no problems. Um, okay, maybe I'll call you later. Have you done to me? Can I, can I go back to you? Hey, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Believe me. Eh? Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. It got you. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edmond. Tell me. I love you. No. Oh, I forgot you. Congratulations. Thank you. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Uh -huh. You said it. Oh, and you did it. Oh yeah, what were you thinking when I was saying? You see, the truth of the matter is, every worker deserves their wages. You know, it's written in the scripture that he that works should get rewarded. 
and for your turbulence effort. No matter how little, you must be rewarded. Why, Papa? Yeah. Oh, you can make heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 I can't just see how delighted I am right now. You, you're excited. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So, 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 so. Thank you. Oh, listen, Thank you. I'm just emotional. Listen, listen, listen. The more you continue being available for turbulence, the more promotion you get, the more promotion you get, the more promotion you get, the more promotion you get. Hey, sugar, come on. <laughs> In this office, take me. Ah, really? Take me. Eat me up. I like the sound. Hold me. Say that again. Caress me. Say that again. I'm all yours, honey. <laughs> this office. Uh -huh. We'll keep on this office. This office is on fire. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah, unless I forget, we're having it the same name. I have to see you after work. Oh, thank God. This evening? Yeah, what is it? Is that a problem? There is a problem. You know very well that I am a married woman. I've got kids and my husband. What will I say to my husband? <laughs> well, um, you're not a child. You can tell your husband you're working late at the office. Maybe you have some file to balance up with or something. Tell him something. You know your way around your husband, please. Edmond, you cannot make heaven. What? You can't. You are going straight to hell. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. With all the turbulence I'm taking away from your life. Yeah. Okay, fine. I, I, I know what to do. Okay. I'll see you afterwards. That turbulence remove. <laughs> you are just a. This office is all fire. You are a turbulence giver. And this office is all fire. Mr. Turbulence Remover. Mr. Turbulence Remover. I'm the turbulence of the world in this office. Yes, so <laughs> congratulations Thank once more. Thank you so much. I feel your happiness, and you know, of course, if you're happy for me, yours is next. Yeah, of course. Works. Thank you so much. Yeah. It is certain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good girl. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I want to see something. I want to see something. What's going on here? I sense jubilation in the atmosphere. My beautiful Peggy. Uh -huh. I have just been promoted. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, our beautiful Mrs. Bianca, on your promotion. Thank you, Gracia. Although I got mine before you. <laughs> anyway, it's the same thing. It's the same. Thank you. It's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Bianca. Congratulations, Mrs. Bianca. Thank you, my senior colleague. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Mrs. Bianca. I'm so happy for you. And I know how you feel. You don't know how I feel, honey. When you get yours, you know how I feel, yeah? So I'll be in my office, right? Okay. What the Lord has done for me? <laughs> oh, my good girl. What a feeling to your life. Mm. She deserves it. You know, she has worked really hard for this promotion. Can you just you know, shut up for once? Must you talk? Did I say anything bad? Oh. Ah. Mm. 
my own is I go to mine before oh, her. Hat on your walk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, promotion. Okay. Mr. Edmund, what exactly is going on? How do you mean? Why do I feel like I'm being neglected? All the junior staffs are getting promoted. These are the same staff I personally train in this office. Mr. Edmund, I feel, I, I feel embittered. It's grieving to see you treat me this way. So what has your not being promoted got to do with me? That's what I don't understand. What exactly are you saying? I just asked you a question. You said something and I'm asking you, what has that got to do with me? Well, um, I could remember there was a time I called your attention. I was giving you some signs. I even engaged in one or two conversation. You know, I was trying to make you understand that I needed to take away some turbulence from you. But what did you do? You objected. So, please, if you need somewhere to report or make your reports, take it somewhere else, not to me. If I understand you correctly, you are intentionally denying me what is due to me simply because I refuse to sleep with you. I refuse your sexual advances. That's why you're doing this. Point of correction, not sleeping with you. Me removing turbulence on your path. Please, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy person. You can go if you don't. May God have mercy on you, Mr. Edmund. Well, let your born again nature get you some promotion. Since my turbulence has no effect on your part, we shall see. Hi. My first, how are you? I'm okay, sir. Is Sharon in the office? No, I did not see her. I just saw others leaving for lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, that's fine. I got a scar. Yeah? Can you think of a fire boy? You got that? Oh, there you go. Thank you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. eyes are swollen and they look red. What's going on? I, I just feel like my whole world is crumbling. Why? I mean, just take a look at Mrs. Bianca that came to this office just two years ago. She has just received that promotion. What about me? Why am I not being promoted? Sharon, I heard about it and it's unbelievable. I, I'm surprised. You know, I even went as far as confronting Mr. Edmund. And all he could say was, I'm the reason, I'm the cause of me not getting promoted. How is that even possible? He put the blame on you. You would have allowed me finished. He said my refusal to sleep with him is the reason why I'm not getting any promotion. And it's not fair. <sighs> Sharon. 
Shara. You need to understand something. A lot is going on here in this office. You're not aware of. You can't see those things with the ordinary eyes. You have to be very spiritual to see them. I know. You don't, you don't have to tell me. I know all of that. I'll advise you to keep praying. I know you are very good at praying. So keep praying and have faith. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. Chief. I am no longer comfortable with uh, the type of politics we play in this office. And Sharon, who's been consistent for over seven years, is left behind. Why? Oscar. It is the responsibility of the manager and his supervisors to decide who gets promoted and who doesn't. Well, sir, I still don't understand. That's, that's us treating her unfairly. Yeah. Would you respect her? I believe she deserves to be promoted. Sir, she has worked tirelessly. She has rendered her services to this company for over seven years. Only for her to be treated unfairly? So that's not right. Was that what she told you? Chief, I believe this is us depriving her of what belongs to her. I mean, don't forget, she... She thought the other staff all they know. Only for them to get promoted. And she's being left behind. So this situation can lead to depression and, and agony. Oh, let's <clears throat> go. Here in Richmore Group of Companies, there is an appraisal process where all the staff are ranked according to their performance by their manager and the supervisors. And the process is supervised by the Human Resources Department. Okay? So, I wouldn't want to do their job for them. Should I? Chief, I strongly believe that you can kindly reconsider your stance and do something about it. So, what exactly do you want me to do concerning the promotion of that lady? Chief, this company belongs to you. And I'm pleading, you need to do something. You can't keep, you know, allowing things go the opposite direction in this company. That's not right. It's not a good image for us, sir. And I just asked you, what would you have me do? Chief, for an instance, Edmond asked her to leave her office. He actually sent her to the staff office, Chief. And that's not appropriate. Chief, you got back from your trip and you didn't do anything about it. Hey, sugar. Say, say, repeat what you said now. Uh, you, you need to see the look on her face when I want to flaunt my promotion letter right in their faces. In fact, I did it on purpose to make just of her. Sincerely, if you see her face, <laughs> it's like when they put a face on top. Wait, 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 wait. Let, 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 me, let me get some. What? To what expense did you do that? Do you have to show her your promotion later? I don't get it. I don't like that girl. I hate her. 
She disgusts me. She makes me want to peel like vomit. Like, yes, I don't like her. I don't like her at all. But the thing is, I don't know why you women are like this. You guys are so much, so much, so much like mm -hmm. this. She thinks it's all about doing. It's not by that one. It's not by prayer and fasting and then casting and fighting. It's not by all those ones. Let her pray come and give her the, the, the letter, man. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so her prayer cannot give her promotion. Uh -huh. Because she doesn't encounter that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay. Are you ready to take me on a ride tonight? Oh, no. Don't be a spoiled sport. Yeah. Yes. Can you say that word with some romance in it? Oh, sorry, please. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to take me on a ride tonight? Definitely, honey. I will take you there and bring you back in good health of mind and body. Sure is not. That's a promise. Sure is not. Of course. Do I start from here? Sure is not. Or from here? I'm not hungry. How? You are not hungry. Sharon, I've been meaning to ask you this. Is there anything? Since you came back from work, you have been wearing long face. What is the problem? I'm not just happy, Mom. At my place of work, every other person got promoted. I was the only one who was left behind. Even that, that, that Mrs. Bianca that came into the office just two years ago also received that promotion letter today. You don't mean it. No. They are doing all of this to taunt me, to get at me. You need to see the way Mrs. Bianca barged into, into the office with a promotion letter flaunting it before me. That is quite unfair. Huh? We all know that she's sleeping with Mr. Edmund and getting a promotion, it's not even a problem for her. But to think that, that, that he's doing everything to frustrate me, to get me to sleep with him, that idiot, that nymphomaniac, for what? Oh, my dear, <sighs> that they are doing all this does not mean it's right. It's not morally right. And they, you cannot and they will never do like them. To be over my dead and buried body, mm -hmm. to open my legs to that he goat and that divorcee manager. Mm. Just hold on to God. I know that God will face it and you will laugh last. Eh? Mom, they are seriously working hard to frustrate all my efforts. They just want to frustrate me. Believe me when I say that God will fix it. God will definitely fix it. And that time all these things will be fizzled away. I am being debased in that company. It's as if every effort and commitment does not even count. My daughter, Please, do not let them see that they have gotten at you or defeated you. Always wear a smiling face. Continue your selfless service in that office. You are being watched. Yes. Just mark my word. You think so? Yeah, I know so. Yes, I know so. It's okay. Eat your food. Be good. No, no, eat it later. Don't no. let those things weigh you down. Eat no, your food. I'm giving my time, I'm giving all my effort, my energy, everything. It can never be in vain. No, no, please. I'll eat later. 
Okay, eat. I made this just for you because I know you like this. Mom, no, not now, please. Not now. I promise I will eat it. But not now, please. Oh, Tracy. Tracy, you and your brush should stop crying, okay? Dad, huh? where is mom? Your mommy will soon be back home. Okay. Dad, I'm hungry. Oh. Oh, she's not picking her call. Mm -hmm. Dad, why is mom not picking her call? Did you guys fight? Oh, keep quiet, please. By the way, who told you that I and your mom fought? But you guys do quarrel. Well, I think what I have to do now is go to the kitchen, prepare noodles for you two to eat and go to sleep, okay? Okay, Dad. Okay, Dad. For his office. They do beke 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 beke. Eh? Slow with you. Take it easy. Uh -huh. What is it? You just said what? What happened? I saw a flash of light. You think it's you? Are you sure about it? Yes. I feel somebody's here. Light. That must be Fidelix, the yeah. security man. Fidelix. Fidelix, are you, are you there? I do not think it's Fidelix. I, 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 I feel it's Sharon. Oh, impossible. How can Sharon be in the office by this time of the evening? What should we be looking for? She wants to get evidence to nail us. That girl is very very Impostrous, yes. You think so? Yes. In that case, we need to start going home. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Well, you, you, you go first. I'll, I'll, I'll come behind you. Hmm? Yeah, you go first. I'll, I'll join you. Okay, just be safe. Okay. 
Be back by now for work. I don't know. Wow, the food is ready. Come, 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 come. Okay, go on. Yes, yes. I'm tasting. I see us. Okay. Enjoy your food. What is this? What? Dad! I thought you said you are going to prepare noodles for us, but this is too soft. I I'll add water in it. Stop complaining and eat your food. Eh? This is not food, Dad! Chelsea, remember, Dad is a man. What do you expect? He has done the best he could do for us. Let's just manage it. Mm-mm. Listen to this. Try the egg. Mm-mm. No, I'm not eating it at all. I can't try this. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine. I wanted to ask you, did you see anyone leave <laughs> the office this evening? Office? Yes. No. Ha! I don't even come up and I don't even see anybody. Only Madame Bianca. I just walk her pass. Oh. Hmm. So you mean you didn't see another person like maybe like a stranger, maybe someone else apart from Madame Bianca? No, even a spiritual butterfly and a physical butterfly. I don't even see anyone pass. Only Madame Bianca and I just walk a pass. Oh, okay. Is that right? Um... Mr. Edmund, any yeah, problem? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no problems. You see, it's about the security of our office. You know, it's always good to stay with you. Like yes, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, correct. Safe. But nobody. Oh, okay. Please, uh, open the gate for me. Let me go home and rest. Mr. Turbulence, remove. Mr. Turbulence, remove. You are just a deceiver. I'm a deceiver. You are a turbulent giver. And not, not a turbulence remover. Hey, Mr. Turbulence, remove. Mr. Turbulence, remove. You are just a deceiver. Your game will be over and you will become Mr. Turbulence Receiver. Hey, child, you have a way with words, sweet and manipulating words, promising promotions. What do I ever done to Bianca to deserve all this? The job, the job. Have really changed my wife from a wife and a mother to what I cannot explain. I've been calling her just to know what is really going on with her, dear. But she refused to pick my call. I shouldn't have brought this idea of her. 
getting a job and she refused at the first time but I push her and I push her to to the job and now see what is happening to my family Chexy, Noel, please eat your food. Yeah. We are not eating. Oh, please, you have to manage. Please don't do this to daddy. Okay. Dad, I'm sorry. I can't eat it. But you were complaining that you are hungry. Eh? Please eat. Noel. But mom could have done it better. Yes. I'm so sorry, Where are you coming from? Man, I'm coming from work. Take that to the birds. And what is that supposed to mean? You left this house since 7.30 a.m. And now you are coming back. Look at your time. A married woman with kids doing unimaginable things. Please, I indulge you. I beg of you. I am very, very tired. I am fagged out. I am stressed. I want to just go take a shower and sleep peacefully. I don't have strength for your nonsense talks, please. You know, Bianca. Bianca, you must tell me the man you are with this night. You must. You must be very stupid to so think about me like that. You think I cheat? I do not understand. Bianca, you have husband and children in the house. And you choose to come by by this time. Well, if you must know, I worked over time. I had workload on my table. I had to sort it out. Is that okay? I know you, you, you found an excuse to give. But let me ask you one question, Bianca. Are you the only one working in this house? Are you? Please, I do like I don't have strength for your nonsense talks. Sometimes you talk as if your brain is working from your anus. You sound like a broken record. Can you let me be? I am stressed. Please. So why are you not taking your calls? So you see what I made now. Your brain is not functioning well. You are sick. Yes. Because if you are not sick, you, you, you will not want me to take my calls inside KK. So they can snatch my phone from me. Up there. In the night, I should take my calls inside, inside KK. Please now, what is this? Ezigis, leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Ha! It's okay, Bianca. You have won. But remember, there is God. The unjust woman, her heart's filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself and do whatever she pleases with recklessness. Your eyes cannot do anything. She lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone that stands. Steady, her light shines so bright. 
She's always ready to stand for justice and lend a helping hand. She's truly grand. Oh, Orichi Kobo. Oh, Orichi Kobo. She's just a woman. Oh, Orichi Kobo. How you lay your bed is how you lie on it. How you lie on it What you sow Is what you reap Oh, just woman, woman. Her heart's sweet and steady So steady Light shines so bright oh, She's always, she's always ready, ready To stand for justice oh, And lend a helping hand She's truly grand Oh, oh we she called I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth Sharon will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Sharon shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon his right hand. The sun shall not smite Sharon by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve Sharon from all evil. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Lord, these are the promises you made to me. Oh God, on bended knees I come before you. I do not want to complain, Lord. But God, thou seest all. Father, even the birds of the air do not toy, yet they do not suffer for food. Oh, Lord God in heaven, you said affliction shall not arise a second time. God, I know the thoughts you have for me. They are the thoughts of good and not of evil to bring me to my expected end. Dear God, I'm holding all these promises and I'm holding you to answer me, dear God. Please, Lord, help me. Please fight for me, Lord. Fight those that fight against me. Make their way wet and slippery. Let them fall into the pit that they dig it for me. Let them be entrapped in their own net, oh God. For you are my God and my salvation. I have no one else but you. I have no one. I hope you two did your homework. Yes, Dad. Noel, didn't you hear my question? I heard you, Dad. So why is your face like this? I did my assignment. Noel, I asked a question. Why is your face like this? Noel, what's wrong? It's about Mom. What about her? She abandoned us. Just because of her work, the top on her list. Her most priority, and not us. No, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that new development. <sighs> Dad, Emmanuel is right. Mom abandoned her family. Uh, please, you have to stop this, okay? Mom cannot abandon her family. Okay? Dad, do not cover up for her, please. We did not eat dinner last night. What? But I prepared uh, noodles for you two. We couldn't eat it because it was very soft. It was entirely my fault, okay? I added a lot of water on it. Please, I'm sorry. 
Dad, mom should be the one cooking, not you. It's your mom has been busy. Since yesterday, she have a lot of work in her table to do. Ah, please, okay, let us just leave this, okay? We talk about it in the evening, okay? Can we have our meal? Yes. Down great game. Sugar. Hello, my my beautiful Bianca. Good morning. How was your night? Well, let's say my night was so tiresome. You know what happened when I got home? You rode me like a bullet, and as well as I got home, I ran to the bathroom to take my bath, and I rushed to bed, and I slept. Boom! Are you saying? Like, are you telling me? Yeah, of course, man. You know, you you're the best thing I've ever had. Don't tell me the truth. Hmm. It feels like there's a sucker in there. <laughs> Stop. Okay, fine. I, I've not said this to you before, but you know, you, you make me feel so, so heavenly. Something my husband has never done in this miserable life before. Oh wow! I'd like to hear that again. Are you serious? So, are we having a sweet sex again? Like, I can't wait to have it again with you. Well, in that case, you must have to catch up with me at the office. No, but, but, but please, it has to be during lunchtime. Yes, you, you know, our affair is, is raising eyebrows already, you know. And I, I don't want problems. My husband was shouting and yelling last night at me. I had to light his same ass. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, um, that means from now henceforth, there wouldn't be anything like night affair. Mm -hmm. Yes, at least until I'm done with this whole marriage thing. You know, I, ca I can't wait to have you inside of me. What? She has been cheating with another man? <sighs> it's alright. It's alright. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So, uh, uh, so we can just be together. You want me, I want you. They will be together. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't understand. You have intention of leaving your marriage. Why are you whining like a child? Why are you whining for? I don't understand. You want me, I want you, right? And then we'll be together. Well, <laughs> except you're married. No, no, no. Come on, why would you say that? I'm not married. Then, 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 then what? I don't get. What are you saying? Ah, please. I... What? So, <laughs> this woman was actually in the hands of her co-worker. And she lied to me. Me, her husband. Don't get me wrong. What I'm trying to say is me. You could sit in your marriage and we're still on. Um. <laughs> um. Who yeah. are you talking to? A friend. Oh. Uh, Karen should be getting ready to go to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Um, I have to take the kids to school. Okay. Yeah, from there, I drive to office. All right, thank you. Okay, see you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sugar, are you there? Who was that that was talking at the background? Was that your husband? That was him. That told me he was listening to everything we've been talking about here. No, he just came in now to pick the car keys now. Are you sure he didn't hear anything? Okay, um, I'm almost close to the office. Then I'll see you when you get there. Most definitely. I'll see you soon, yeah? Trust me, I'm going to ride you like never before. Like I'm about to send you off to the skies and you fall back to air and say hi. <laughs> yeah. See you soon. Alright, darling, I'll see you later. Are you serious right now? 
you're, you're gonna leave your marriage because of your affair? I think you're joking, man. <laughs> you're really joking. Who does that? You're gonna leave your marriage because of an affair. Keeping that in there. We are late for school already. I don't want any teacher to flog me. Let dad just come and take us to school. He has been gone for too long. I wonder what is still keeping him waiting. Mm. Yeah, I hate Max. I don't want any of my teacher to flog me because of that. Receive punishment for my teachers because we're coming to school late. Oh, I'm sorry, my son, okay? Sorry for the delay. Hmm? But, Dad, what took you so long in there? Oh, I say I'm sorry. Dad, please, we're already late to school. Casey, would you blame your daddy forever? At least I'll say sorry more than a million times. Eh? Is daddy not looking good? He's looking good. Dad, where is mom? Is she not going to work today? Uh, definitely. Okay, let's go. We're already late, let's go. My wife is shitting on me. This is from Tonable. How can she abandon the children and I and be diverting around the town with this side boy? What is my offense for crying out loud? What did I ever done to Bianca to deserve what she's doing to me? Is it strong now to marry a very beautiful woman? I will do exactly everything she asked me to do. Even at that, she will complain and lament. That don't make her feel like a woman. And now, she's seeking pressure outside her matrimonial home. What can I do to her, Bianca? Ah. Dad. Are you okay? Daddy, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> uh, what you just said? Daddy, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> nothing, no, nothing, nothing at all, okay? I'm okay. I'm are you sure? Yeah. You're very sure? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure, okay? Daddy, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, daddy is fine. Okay? If you say so, but I hope you're okay. Yeah, that is fine.
Mrs. Bianca, please lead us in today's praises and worship. Excuse me? We have 30 minutes before the work day begins, so please let us hurry up lead us. Please call somebody else. I cannot do it. Team. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your mercy and your protection and the camera fits out in Jesus. Hmm. Wonders they say shall never cease. You see that big for nothing, Mrs. Bianca? She couldn't even open her mouth to sing. What are you guys expecting? You expect her to have sung like the angels. The only thing she does in this office is to open her legs for the manager and the supervisor. Hmm? Tim, are you trying to say that a married woman is sleeping with Mr. Edmund and the manager? I have seen them not once, not twice. No deal. Team. I have seen them with my eyes. Hey, I should have known. I should have known better. 
that woman just started working in this company for just two years and she has gotten a promotion. I know what she did. She used what she has to get what she ever wanted. Exactly. That woman is a desperate woman. I tell She's me. so desperate. Well, she's so desperate and can do anything. Only God knows. At times, I wonder if the MD have not noticed what is happening in this office. That this office has turned into Sodom and Gomorrah. Can we all just focus on our works? Please. Let's do what we are being paid for. If the supervisor comes in here and see you all idle chattering, you think you will be happy? Now focus, please. And let some people work. Let's do what we are paid for. Yes, ma'am. People want to turn this company to hotel. Wait, Tim, are you serious about what you say? That's Sharon intentionally pointed at me to lead in the praises and worship to jeer at me. Imagine asking me to sing before the whole staffs of Richmore group of companies. With the thought of how I'm going to be in Edmund's arms this afternoon and how I'll be screaming and groaning in pleasure as it takes me to Club 9 on my mind. Could I have thought of a song? Oh, Edmond is driving me crazy. I wish this office romance is not going to stop. Gosh, I suffer perennial insomnia each time I think of him. I can't wait for lunchtime for us to do it once again. In his office, right on his table. <sighs> yeah, I sketched that letter based on the MD's uh, direction. Please type it within 30 minutes. It needs to be in this table. I'll do when I'm done. Let it to him in 30 minutes. I said I will do when I'm done with this one. I can't give this one out to this one. I'm sure you do it and get it to the end. This table is very urgent. Then who are you to order me around? I do not understand. After all, in this office, I earn more than you do. So if you don't have the right to come here and tell me bullshit. Well, make sure you just do what I told you. <laughs> oh my god. Some people are just um faggots, mangots, expired fools. You all of them. So let's order me around. Smelling pizza. Have you done the other upgrade? Yes, sir. I'm done with this. I'm working on the next one. Um, where is Nini? She went to ease herself. She's beautiful in every sense. I just want her to give me the same thing others have been giving me. Is that too hard for her to do? Hello, Chief. Yes, Chief. Okay, sir.
You need to see me once she returns. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, I'm done with this file. Good and fine. Forget about this for now. Let's talk about us. What? I called you yesterday. I wanted to be with you. Come on, give me that smile. But sir, you haven't even taken a look at the file. Don't worry about the file. Let's talk about our file. Come on. Come on here, my dear. <laughs> give me that smile. <laughs> it's not safe here, okay? I don't think we should do this. Considering what is going on in this company, mm -hmm. I mean, someone might just walk in here and see us. No one has audacity to enter into my office without my consent. Remember? I the supervisor is there. I am the manager, I am in charge. I only do the managerial aspect of this company. While Mr. Edman sits to the affair of this company. So, can you give me what I want? <laughs> Your parents are not comfortable. I'm comfortable. No one will see it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Shara. Yes, she. I give you an instruction to prepare a proposal later. For you to forward it to Bianca to type. Did you do that? Yes, I did, Chief. But Bianca is saying that you didn't give her any letter to type. What? Did you tell MD I didn't give you any letter to type? Did you give me any letter to type? Yes, I did. I, I went to her office. I saw her typing. I then gave her the proposal letter to type. I told her to leave whatever she was doing and to finish it quickly, get it across to you within 30 minutes. But she emphatically told me she wasn't going to do it, that I had no right to other around as she earns more, and, more than I do. Mm. Bianca. Chief. What Sharon said. Is that the truth? Chief, that's a blunted line. She just told a very big lie, sir. Of course, there's Eric in this office, and I know that. And she's a senior colleague to me, so I wouldn't even dare to do such a thing to her. I didn't do that, and she's lying. Are you really calling me a liar? Yes. You are worse than a liar. You just told a pathological lie. And you, you're saying that you are born again. Did I lie to? Oscar? Chief. Get me the supervisor. All right. All right, old chief. Now you listen, both of you. I will not come to this kind of nonsense in this company. Oscar? Chief. What is keeping the supervisor? I'm sure he'll be here shortly. Oh, chief. You sent for me. Oh yes, please sit. So excuse me. Edmund. Chief. Um, I have a situation here. Okay. I asked Sharon to prepare a proposal later and give to Bianca to type for me. Now, Bianca is saying that uh, she was not given any letter. Meanwhile, Sharon is insisting that she gave the letter to Bianca to type. So, I'm at a loss here, Edmond. What do you think? Um, Chief, as a very honest person that I am, and as a child of God, I always stand by the truth. If Bianca is insisting that Sharon didn't give her any paper to type, then that means Bianca is saying the truth. Because I've, I'm very close to these people. I know everybody's character in this company. I mean, Bianca has this repute of saying the truth always. I've, I've tried her, and she's a very honest person. 
So, in your opinion, um, Bianca is saying the truth and uh, Sharon is lying. I'm chief. Like I said before, Bianca is a very honest person. That I can guarantee she is. Chief, sincerely speaking, sir, I cannot lie. This daughter of the devil did not give me any letter to type and she knows the truth. She's just lying. So you're insisting that the proposal letter never got to your table? And you're insisting you gave it to me? Why are you such a pathetic liar? What do you want again? I do not understand. Were you sent to me? You are just a, a pathetic liar. I think something serious is going on in this office. Newscaster. Tim, you can actually say that again. The way Peggy spreads news in this office, eh? <laughs> I begin to wonder if she had actually worked in a radio station or TV <laughs> as a newscaster before. I'm telling people what's going on in the managing director's office, and you think I'm joking. See, I think there's a case. Yes. Peggy, can you shut up your mouth and stop saying what you don't know? Let us wait until they are out from the MD's office. Then we can get the authentic news. Mm. If you all like, you believe. If you don't, leave it. As a matter of fact. Eh, hey, Nini, supervisor was here asking after you. He told me to tell you to see me the day you are out of the restroom. Uh, before I forget, was it the restroom you went to or you enter one office like that? Yay! What kind of stupid question is that? Tim. Mind your business. Stay your lane. And maybe you should just answer him. Well, I don't know. Uh, every day is for the thief. One day is for the owner of the house. I don't have time for gossips. Let me... I see things. What do you see? I see things. Mr. Sia. Sure. Yes, Chief. I had so much confidence in you. But right now, I don't know what to believe anymore. Chief, I have rendered selfless service to this company for several years. And by the special grace of God, I am one of the senior staff in this company. And it's quite unfortunate that some persons are trying to frustrate my efforts by conspiring against me for reasons best known to them. There is nobody trying to frustrate your efforts, my darling. You are the one claiming to be a saint, whereby you are the devil incarnate. Meanwhile, this is not about praying and fasting or speaking in tongues, Sharon. Will you shut up, Bianca? What is it with this devil thing? You keep accusing her of being a Christian or not being a Christian or whatever. Do you have anything against Christianity? What's your problem? Chief, with your permission, there's something I'd like you to listen to. What is it? Before everyone here, Bianca called me a liar. I would like to prove that she is the liar, not me. What rubbish are you talking about? You will soon find out. Excuse me. Okay. Yes, Oscar. Something is not right. I smell conspiracy. Your guess is as good as mine. Chief, I had a feeling that this was going to happen. 
So I recorded the conversation between Bianca and myself. Listen. I said I will develop the whistle. I can get this one out of prison. I'm sure you do it again to be able to stay home. It's very urgent. Then who wants to go to the road? No, I'm after all, it's like everyone on YouTube. So if you don't have the right to come here and tell me bullshit. Jeff, it's not what you think. I can actually explain. You know, it's. it's I, you're shut up there! It's not what I think. How do you know what I am thinking? Sue, you were lying all this while. You made all of us to think that Sharon was a liar here. Huh? You stop that! You're making your hands like this. Meanwhile, you were here supporting this liar. Right? Chief, the truth is, people change overnight. See, I've not said this to anybody before. I am on 21 days straight prayer and fasting. And this period, they were, there's a way we're guided in the church that we should mind the way we trade. Because if we make mistakes, we might be trading the wrong path. So we need to be very, very mindful of everything we're doing this season. There's no way I would have known that this one is lying and I'll be supporting her. It is not in my nature. Bianca, Bianca must have changed. That means. Sharon has taken the position of Bianca in saying the truth. Bianca, you're such a disappointment. Edmund. You're a dangerous woman. Edmund, will you keep quiet? Look at you. Are you serious right now? I am disappointed. Hello, um, Sharon. Yes, On behalf of these two pathological lies. I apologize. Okay? It's nothing, Chief. It's all right. Thank you, Chief. Sharon, what happened? It's fine. Of course it's not fine. You never open up. Always secretive. And that is not good. Come on. Don't you know a problem shared is a problem half solved? Nini, just leave her alone. You know she's an introvert and you always want to force words out of her mouth. Nini. Nini, can you stop? What is wrong with you? You keep running your mouth. Can you for one day shut up? Mm. I told you guys. I told you guys that something happened at the MD's office. See, I've never seen Miss Sharon this broken before. For all I know, she's a strong lady with likable personalities. But this one, she's like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. What could be the problem? I don't know. It's obvious something happened at the end of this office that left her this devastated. This you. Yes. Afternoon, how are you? The MD instructed me to give you this. It contains information regarding um, Gozek Industries Limited. He instructed that you go through the file thoroughly, effect any change if there's any need for it, and get it across to him first thing in the morning. Okay, fine. Make yourself comfortable while I go through it. Oh, there won't be any need for that as I have a lot to do in the office. Excuse me, sir. You always been in a hurry. 
Sharon. Excuse me. Come on. Have anyone told you how beautiful you are? No, 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 no. No doubt. The prettiest of them all. I don't know what's stopping us from having something together. Mr. Jeffrey, so you want me to have an affair with you? Of course, yes. Nothing to lose. No regrets at all. Now you listen, Mr. Jeffrey. I will not say this another time. I will not have an affair with you. Why? Why are you acting? Why are you acting straight? Mr. Yes? Jeffrey, you are a married man. You should respect that. Of course, I'm a married man. But I'm a divorcee now. Yes, my wife left me. I can still marry you. You know what? I am not interested. Please, have a good day, sir. Excuse me. Okay. Let's see how it goes. And I'll be master of the game. She's just a woman, a poor rich But then. Oh, Chief, I was just updating the payment vouchers and uh, the GT chats. It's okay, Chief. I'll do just that. All right, sir. Who is it? Come. Right, Mr. Jeffrey, you're here. My beautiful Sharon. <sighs> how are you doing? Very well, thank you, Mr. Jeffrey. And how is work going? Work is good. Fine. Sharon, I have been trying to get your attention, but you are not giving up. The more I try, the more you are not showing any green light. Uh, what's going on? Mr. Jeffrey, I hate it when people block me. It just feels like you're stalking me. I can't breathe. I don't know. Please. I will not oblige your request. Please. Just get that and move on. Okay? If I get you well, uh, does it mean I don't look like what you can go for? <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey. Uh, some of us have important things to do, like work, remember? I'm no exception to that rule, so I have to work. Thank you. Smart and good enough. Sharon, listen to me. You can't deny me access to your body and expect everything to be fine. No. If this office is what is making your head to swell and feel like you're high and mighty, then be ready to leave this office to the staff room where you rightfully belong. Mr. Jeffrey, with all due respect, can you leave my office now? I hear you well. I'm saying get out. Oh. Use the door. Get out, please. Fine. I will leave. But listen to me. You have not seen the last of me. Get out. Really? 
Edmund and Bianca have done their worst, but I thank God. Thank God for always seeing me through my ordeals. Anyone who trusts in God can never be put to shame. And like my mom would say, don't let your enemies see your tears because they do not have the capacity to make you share tears. And I refuse to let my enemies have the last laugh. Miss Sharon, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Peggy. I'm here to apologize for what happened earlier today. No, it's fine. I must commend your bravery. I was impressed. Just that I don't understand their need to get me out of this place. Men. Mr. Jeffrey and Mr. Edmund both asked me out and I refused. That shouldn't be a problem, should it? Trust me, it's, uh, it's a stupid situation. However, I, I caught the manager and Nina in his office. I I'm very uh, disappointed. Yeah. Wow. This has turned into something else. And I feel like it will continue because the board has vehemently refused to do anything about it. And he's bold and weak. But that's not enough reason for him to overlook all the atrocities going on in this office. Trust me, he doesn't know. Fine. But you are his PA. You are his eyes, you are his ears here in this company. In a situation where he cannot act or speak. I'm <laughs> 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 I'm fine, oh, your mother is doing good. <laughs> what else? I am mending your sister's clothes. Don't forget she is a working class lady. Eh? She barely has time for herself, let alone doing this kind of stuff. Um, she's doing well. Your twin sister is doing well. She's doing very good in her working place. Dream? What about the dream? I hope it's not bad dream. Tell me. Kinsley, talk to me. You mean you don't want to tell me the dream you had about your sister? Your twin sister? Kisly! 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 Hey! You're gonna know I'm gonna come for London.
Dream. I believe whatever dream it is, my God is there for me. My God is alive. He will never let me down. They need to be stopped. Else it will just become worse. There's a tendency that the immorality going on in this company can cause this company a serious setback and stagnation. God forbid, no one is praying for that. Then they need to be stopped like right now. You're right, absolutely right. Something has to be done. <laughs> I'm really fast. Hey, I'm going to have lunch and you're coming with me. No, I can't go with you. Listen, you keep turning me down, all right? I'm tired, come on. Besides, you need to eat to stay healthy. Oscar, don't complain if I get there and I don't eat anything. Excuse me? You don't eat food? What type of a human being are you? Okay, enough. Let's go before you call me a ghost. Let's go eat. I'm glad I was able to convince you. You didn't. Listen, I'm taking you somewhere really, really nice. Somewhere classy. Mm. Awesome. Thirsty. So tell me, Sharon, do you have a boyfriend? What sort of question is that? Just answer the question. Do you have a boyfriend? Why well, would I want to answer a rhetorical question? All right. Listen. Just tell me. Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a fiance? Just tell me. What's what's up? What's up with you? Oscar, let me just put you out of your misery. I'm triple S. And what does that mean? I'm single, and I'm still searching. <sighs> wow, really? I can't believe a girl as good looking as you are, as single. What's that? You want me to believe that? <laughs> believe whatever you want, so tell me. Why did you bring me here? Don't you like this place? This is where I have the best restaurants in town. I mean, I like the food. It tastes really nice. It just appeared to the MP. <laughs> Why would you want to spend your month's salary just to please me? Well, I might just uh, be a PA, thank you very much. But I know rich people. I also know the owner of the restaurant. So whatever we're having here has been paid for. Yeah. So because you know the owner of the restaurant, then miraculously everything we're having is paid for. I don't understand. <sighs> Well, like I said, um, I know a lot of people. I know rich people. Yeah. Seriously? Mm hmm Sharon, you've had a stressful day at the office, so I actually brought you here to have a nice time. All right? Enjoy your food. I earn more than you. I could still take care of this. It's been taken care of, I told you. Hoping we do this again. Uh, Pretty soon. Until then. Really? They are entering the office now. Only God knows where Oscar took her to. Eh? Premium property. Ordinary PA is the one leading her around. Where are they coming from?
till then. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Yes, I do have work to get back to. It's okay, bye. Yes, bye. Bye. She is a just woman. Her hearts are pure and true. She lives a life of honesty and always follows her. Noel, today is addition. Okay. Okay. 18 plus 15 is equals to what? 18 plus 15. Yes. Noel, I've taught you how to add and divide and multiply, right? So, count it and wait. In. Dad, the answer is 33. Keep quiet. I'm not talking to you. Noel, I'm waiting. Okay. Zero, zero into 15. Plus zero, zero into 18. Yeah, write it down. Plus. Okay, count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <coughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33. Mm. So, 18 plus 15 is equals to? 33. Wow! <laughs> that is my boy. Give yourself a Milo club. Milo. Look. <laughs> hearts filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself and do whatever she please with recklessness. She lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone that stands in her way. But in the end, there'll always be a price to pay. Oh, the just woman, a part straight and steady. Noel, Chasey, what just happened just right now? <sighs> you did not greet your mom. But, but she, she did, did not, not greet you. What? This should not repeat itself again. Now, go inside that room and greet your mom. Go and greet her. Go to that room and greet her. Hearts filled with greed and wickedness. She cares only for herself. And do whatever she please with recklessness. She lies, she cheats, and hurts anyone. That stands in her way, but in the end, there always be a prize to me. Oh, the just woman, a part straight. This man has stoned my children against me. Ah, baby. How is work today? Have you been discussing me with my children? I don't get it. You don't get what? Yes, I don't get it. You have succeeded in turning my children against me. My kids now see me as a total stranger. <sighs> you don't have to blame them. Yes, because you have stopped playing the role of a mother to them. They now see you as a ghost mother. They go to bed without you, even go to school without seeing you. So, what do you expect from them? 
Are you now complaining? Like seriously? Are you complaining? It is you who asked me to go look for a job to assist you in this house financially, isn't it? What stupid job is that? Eh? What a job that takes a mother away from her children. And you, you leave the children alone with me to take care of and still go to work every morning. Eh? You know what? You're talking nonsense. Like I'm so tired right now. I should just get a warm bath and go to sleep. Sleep peacefully. It doesn't even stress me. Do you understand? Please, are we having dinner tonight? Please, sort yourselves out. You are pushing me to the wall. You are pushing me to the wall. And I will not take it lightly with you. I'm serious. I'm very serious. If you're not careful, I'll push you to the grave. Excuse me. Bianca. Can you imagine? You are pushing me to the right. You are pushing me to the wall. I will push you to the grave, honey, if you're not careful. Fool. Pregnant wife? But you you told me that you you aren't married. I don't understand why you're wasting my time. If there's anything you need to say, please say it. I'm in a hurry. I need to leave this place. <clears throat> um I I I I came to 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 let you know that I am I'm pregnant for you. You know that song, um, that popular song, um, last, last, it don't cast. And everybody go to breakfast. Shall you? So let me drop this. A minute, I'm coming. 